Hola amigos and Hola. welcome to today's mukbang. Yay. For today's mukbang, I made look at this caramel apples. Ta da! <laughs> Tell them what, so, what, what ingredients. It's a bit, it's like candied apples because I use coconut uh, milk instead of caramel, uh, the caramel balls that people use. Anyways, um, then we have, I'll oh, explain this. I started making it into potato balls. So, kind of potato balls. This is supposed to be what? Potato balls. Oh, okay. But then it became into... Swedish pita panna, almost like scrambled. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, when you eat pita panna, the Swedish one, you have, have fried eggs. And I have tortilla. I, I've already tasted this. And Mama rushed it with that one because with these ones, they still turned out whole. Oh, show it. Show it. See? <laughs> oh, oopsie. It's cold now. Well, no, this one's okay. Mm. It's yummy mm. though. Uh, next time, because when I boil the potatoes... I know it's not obvious guys, but it actually is yummy. It's not obvious though, because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I boil the potatoes, it, a bit funny. it had too much water, so when you're supposed to make it into like mashed potato first, and then... Uh, yeah, too much mm. liquid. But next time I know, fried eggs. Oops. It's actually quite yummy. Um, oh, love, love. It's like fried eggs. Fried mm. eggs. One. A rusty. It's kind of like rusty but more oily. <laughs> <laughs> because there was too much water. Tell them about my blood results. Wait, let's try this. <laughs> I don't know what happened. What happened? It's like it became like a gummy bear or something. Let me try. Mmm. Oh. It's so yummy. Because it's coconut cream. OMG, these apples are from my grand aunt's garden, hmm. so it's fresh apples. It's on Instagram. And it's so yummy with the uh, caramel. I need ketchup. Come back. Mmm! I you know. Ketchup. It was so simple too. Well, I didn't even measure really just the sugar, but I didn't find a recipe that I like so I just did my own so I put the, mm. the coconut cream in the coconut you know the coconut you can buy the coconut milk mm. I just took the creamy part two of those from the tiny containers like this tiny containers and then two deciliters of sugar mm. and then boiled it and then dip this in uh, oh a pinch of salt and it became like this. Yummy. People are asking mama mm. why did we not get an apartment with our own bedrooms? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that? People are asking mm. that why did we get such a small apartment mm. without our own bedrooms? Obviously it's cheaper. I mean, it's so expensive, but um, the actual apartment is is cheaper because it doesn't have oops a bedroom here. And even in the states, even you pay when you pay the whole house or whole apartment, you still pay taxes. And taxes on bigger apartments or bigger houses are bigger, so you still pay every month. So that's why. I mean, you own, we own it, but we still pay taxes. And if we chose a bigger one with with bedrooms, then we would have paid so much more. Yeah. So that's why. So yeah. So obviously, 
would have been awesome if we had like our own rooms and then a gym room and then an art room and then, you know just like in in the states mm. and i know everyone always says you guys are so weird <laughs> people are like the problem what's that we couldn't because it's too expensive so maybe one day in the future when we get the house maybe mm -hmm. Then that's easier. Usually houses have more than a room or at least one room. Hmm. Um, but not yet because here in Denmark, it's not like in the U.S. In the U.S., it's quite rare where you buy a place and it's like just one bedroom. Mm. Often there is two bedrooms. One like, for a parent. Like in the States, we had three bedrooms and mm. two bathrooms. Yeah. Big and then one then because everything is bigger there and then it's cheaper to, to buy. I was thinking like we'll buy a, a summer house. It's called Colony Heyu who's here. So it's not an actual it's it looks like a summer house but you're only allowed to sleep there like the 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 six months, you know, summer and then after summer you're only allowed to sleep there like weekends and then if you have vacation like one day or two because you're supposed to you know have a garden there so that's our plan to buy that so we don't need to move out of this apartment and if you guys ever get like confused for uh for some of our decisions <laughs> just go on youtube and then search danish apartments and you will see the tiniest apartments are here and then it could be like a family of five. Just like in New York. Yeah. It could be like a family or of Manila. five where there's the parents and then the kids. The kids get their own rooms, but they're all in one room, like three kids in one room. And it's like bunk beds, two beds, and then one bed on the side. And it's super tight. This apartment is like a mansion compared to that. Yeah. So, well, and if you watch Maria's video with a dorm in Manila, in the Philippines, that's one fourth of this so this one looks it for us because we're like that was just like what uh two years ago mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, less than two years ago or yeah. something luckily when this appointment was made they organized it really well and people are like but what if you want your own space or privacy the thing is with us, it's no privacy in Filipino family. <laughs> yeah, that too. If you're Filipino, you get it. Filipinos don't really ask that, or Mexicans, uh, because it's not confusing to them. But I get that it's confusing to others. Uh, it's just the culture thing. And then also, obviously, there is people who aren't respectful. We are. So like, if, like Mama, I know when she's mad. And she gets mad and she wants me to <laughs> not talk <laughs> and not be next to her because she's had enough of me. I will like go to my room, go over there. Because we're good at, you know, if we need to have a bubble, we can do it so easily with a person still in the apartment by, for example, just putting on our headphones or watching like, mama watches like uh, survival videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> prepping or even just the time uh, showering or you know doing you know doing different things around the or house if we're in the hall um putting you know like putting on lotion and things like that then it's, and the door is closed yeah. we know we shouldn't even yeah, not even and, and that's yeah, even though we're not naked yeah and that's that's the, the the respect thing like if you respect one another like i've seen videos mama was watching these two before in like tiny apartments and tiny homes and about how everyone has to be very respectful if it's in a tiny space and everyone have to you know really yeah be respectful of one another even if it's like you have kids around you give them their own space if they're gonna go to the bathroom obviously try not to go there try not to not I, you know I, I do tell maria not to lock it like she closes i don't want her to lock you it. you know why just in case she you know falls or we don't she lock. has trauma guys and it's my fault <laughs> because i've told this before but when i was six <laughs> i fell in the bathtub because i was stupid and i was balancing around the bathtub hit my head and I didn't lose consciousness or anything, so I opened the door. But, or did you open? You opened. 
she used like a knife thing and she could open I it. I couldn't open it right away. Yeah, oh, my but God. you know, I told her not to laugh. You mm -hmm. didn't listen. No. And it's not just that. Maria was sick before in Chagao and no. But you know, if you're really close to each other, you don't even have to say it. We're only no. saying it now for you guys. Yeah, yeah. But we've never, I've never told Maria, uh, oh, when I'm in the hall and the door is closed, <laughs> don't even look at me. No. <laughs> Like and sometimes if my respect not, uh, yeah, each other's and if we're, we're very close. So, but sometimes when she's not paying attention or she she doesn't know I'm stressed, I would just say, Psh. Mm. Mm. yeah, and she would stop. That's what mm -hmm. like sometimes I know. Sometimes I know she's stressed, and I know I shouldn't say anything. I know I shouldn't come closer. But I have this thing like you know as as a. Um, as a child of somebody, you're you're always afraid that the dad or the mom will hate you. So you do everything you can <laughs> to get their love back because you think you lost it. And then, so when she's being like quiet and I'm thinking, oh my God, what can I do? I have to do something. <laughs> but sometimes the best thing you can do is just stay quiet and, you know, step away. <laughs> and when I was younger, I was so bad at this. I would, you know, cross every boundary and just you know talk to her still even though she needed her alone time <laughs> so the thing is like a lot of people ask about that and they get confused uh, how we can survive like this <laughs> oh but yeah that's just this is it's way boundaries. bigger than the dorm yeah uh, in the dorm though it was too small for it, mama it was too much for her for me i i wasn't i didn't have any problem with being in a small space with her but she was so tired of me <laughs> and also she would go up to the gym for like six hours a day guys to exercise but mm -hmm. also to talk with michael so yeah that's a big difference yeah, I, yeah now now that i'm a widow mm -hmm. oh i mean technically technically i'm also single but you say widow right yeah so now not now maria can just talk with me before i was busy yeah yeah that's another thing like other, other people i guess they're also asking about privacy because what if you have a boyfriend right now none of us do have a boyfriend um so i don't want any if <laughs> if the time comes and that happens then you know that could easily be solved yeah that could easily be solved too a lot of people here still live with their parents and the thing they do is they go to the the partner's place or they go out and have you know lunch outside or you know it's not it's not that hard if you're close with the person you're living in now if, and i will live when they get married i will live in their basement now if mama was like you know this uh, not easy person to be with then that would be another thing or if i was this toxic person then that would be another thing then we wouldn't be able to do this that's a Filipino thing too. Like if Mama had Michael still, then obviously she would be with him, you know. But the thing is, in in Phil in the Philippines, especially if it's a widow or a single parent, like the other the other partner is somewhere else gone or I don't know. You never leave that person alone, especially if you get along with them, especially if you're close with them. And you don't they're do that. old. Yeah. Uh, and like you can see that in Mexican families too on TikTok, like they have their moms with them. They have both their parents with them. <laughs> so you know, it's not it's a cultural thing. So I just think like that's why. Stephanie, what's her name? Stephanie Sue, yeah, her mom is always there. I think she lives there in this apartment. It's in but both this our names. This apartment is huge though compared yeah. to before. It's in both our names. So Maria doesn't live with me and I don't live with her. We live with each other. Yeah. We're both owners of this apartment, so don't worry, guys. I made it happen <laughs> like that, so Maria doesn't feel like oh, it's just just my apartment. It's our apartment. So don't worry, guys. Sometimes they worry, mommy, <laughs> <laughs> because there is. I know there is a lot of like families who have toxic vibes all over them. Uh, but then obviously you shouldn't, you know, force it, but. We, we we are fine guys <laughs> <laughs> and you know this is and just it's not that doesn't mean that oh maria is a perfect daughter i mean she's perfect to me but it doesn't mean she's perfect or you know 
it, it just means that we adjust to each other. Sometimes we do annoy each other. Yeah. But, but it, it's not that. <laughs> it's that I think with kids or other family members, if you can accept their flaws, then you can live with them forever. You can be with them forever, you know. Hmm. And that that's how we are. Like, I can accept, oh, sorry. I can accept her flaws. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, my A1C got a little bit better. A1C is um, diabetes test. Yeah. Diabetes. No, it is, so it goes up. <laughs> love, love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how, what is it in, in American? Um, I'll write it, but it's 82 it was, in Danish. Yeah, 82. It was 84 before. And um, before it was. Her Nine, cholesterol was down though. Yeah, it her back cholesterol. Because, because, uh, okay, still it's cheap. You can see eggs. It's still vegetarian, but sometimes I do eat sardines, you know, when I get cravings or when we're at home with someone else, at someone's home, I would eat some meat, but that's not every day. So the cholesterol is normal, but it's only been seven but, months. So next yeah. time, I will do March and I will be better with, uh, I will do less cheating. And also, more exercise. At least it went down. Mm. Um, we were expecting it to go down way more. But um, at least it didn't go up. And at least it didn't say the same. No meds. Yeah. So we will check again in March. I don't worry about going to the doctor here because it's for free. Hmm. So, it makes me calmer because then I don't think, oh, I don't do, like, I don't panic and just go there every month. No, I can do it, we're allowed, but I will wait six months. And I also have a public service announcement. <laughs> what? PSA. What's PSA? Public service announcement. No. You know, when you write PSA and then you write like a warning or mm. information. Anyways, because right now, uh, as you guys know, my, my wrist is sprained. And now my right thumb, every day when I wake up, it's clicking. And like it's only in the mornings and it's like stiff like this. And I have to like push it like that throughout the day. And then, and then it calms down and then doesn't hurt throughout the day, okay? But it's starting now with my right hand and, it, and it's scaring me. And so I'm like reading on Reddit on how to fix my body. <laughs> and I've been taking ice cold showers now just to heal because apparently it's good to, you know, to take ice cold showers because it will heal inflammation. Um, but Torture. Yeah, and like my my shoulders are hurting now, and and it's all because yes. and it's a public service announcement because I want to warn you guys, especially if you're in the USA, because if you get something simple as an ear infection, Sticky, like caramel, if you get something simple as an ear infection, guys, something that could be cured with some drops, please do not get antibiotics for your ears. At least not that. No, but antibiotics shouldn't be given for just simple ear infections. It could be, be solved There with are drops. some drops with antibiotics yeah. that so, your doctor can give you. The thing is, because when I was in the US, I've said this before, I they gave me moxifloxacin and ciprofloxacin, which are both in the family of the fluoroquinolones. I'm right here. <laughs> but that family of the fluoroquinolones shall not be taken unless it's something really bad and like the thing is life and death. in the u.s omg i go to the doctors i went so many times when i was there for my ears because i always get ear infections and i went there and they gave me antibiotics 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 and it wasn't working they gave me stronger and stronger and stronger antibiotics until they gave me moxif moxifloxacin and a steroid ear drop See that thing with your head <laughs> and a steroid ear drop. Now, something you shouldn't do is mix steroids and uh, fluoroquinones antibiotics mm -hmm. because it will make your tendons 
so weak and that's why my uh, PA told me if you get pains in your Achilles then stop taking it and come back here because there has been cases where people that rupture means weak. No. that there's been cases where people rupture their Achilles tendons and it's not uh, uh, he, he said I've never met anyone who has uh, rupture theirs but you know just to be on the safe side and I was thinking ah that's not gonna happen to me you know because I'm like I have strong bones but it's not bones, it's tendons, guys. Tendons, it's different than Her bones. bones are strong. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't be able to jump rope. And yeah, I've fallen so many times and I've never broken a bone. Now... And it's not because of that. It's because of that thing. Yeah, and it else. made me, my tendon so weak that my shoulder started hurting. It was my left shoulder started hurting after 10 days of taking the moxifloxacin. Then I came here to Denmark. I was biking, fell off my bike. Then I sprained my wrist. I've fallen off my bike so many times, guys, before when I was younger. And my and, and, and in Chargao, I've fallen. I mean, I've fallen so many times and I've never sprained uh, anything. And so I know it's because of that making me a weaker. I just want you guys to know that you should be careful when you take antibiotics because here I go to the ENT all the time because of my stupid ears. It's for free. so beta. How come it's for free and when it's a, a specialist doctor? It's a specialist. It's still medicine. Oh. Yeah. And so I go to my ENT all the time and she gives me different types of drops every time I go. And they always work. But then there comes a point like the other day where I got an ear infection. I had it for like two or so weeks uh, and it's then a different kind like vinegar. and nothing was working and then in the end somehow it just it just went away sometimes it will just go away and obviously but then there's something more inside now obviously if you have an ear infection and a really high fever you know that's different obviously you have by that that means it's gone on too far and you need antibiotics because it could go up to your brain you could get mm. meningitis so obviously don't <laughs> yeah if you get fever yeah so i'm not saying don't take any antibiotics i'm just saying be very careful if it's in the beginning stages try and solve it with the drops you get from your doctor you know uh because but the it's drops just... the antibiotics you don't have that right no they can't just give me that oh is is that the violet one no no so and also, don't go to walk-in clinics for ear infections, guys, with peace and love. I, I, I... In the States, they can't decide that gap. Here, you can just go to your ENT without going no, no. to your normal No, no, doctor. in the in the U.S., if you're in a bigger city than the city we were in, there is ENTs, and people on Reddit say they go to their ENTs and they can right easily away. go. Yeah, right they can away. easily go. Yeah. Obviously, it costs money in the U.S., so I get that it's expensive. But if you can prioritize your ears because it's so close to the brain, guys. Mm. Um, and so if you can, go to the ENT. Because going to the walk-in clinic, they're just going to give you antibiotics. Obviously, if you're here in Denmark or somewhere where, you know, the UK or something where it's easy to get, you know, free healthcare, go to the ENT. Even if the line is long, like, my ear infections, are they're gone now. But I still have like pressure around here so I know it's not completely gone and I still you know have the the headache things but it's not as bad now I can handle it because I'm used to it now but <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still gonna go even though it's basically gone yeah, because on Monday you don't know if there's fungi in yeah there. because they could ease they could they're gonna clean it they're gonna you know look inside and see you know so it's she likes it when they vacuum <laughs> yeah so, i'm just i just want you guys to be careful because uh so many people are struggling and there's people who have taken uh fluoroquinones and then steroids and ended up uh invalid like leg like waist down they can't move it anymore uh so and also people other people it's called being flux they call it they call it the flaxies uh, on reddit um but it could end up really bad you could get like really severe fatigue and then really severe ibs like very very bad where you can't go out uh, and it can get, get so bad too. yeah and it can get really bad people have 
had to you know quit their job stay at home it can get so bad and the thing is doctors don't listen when you go back often when you, you go back because a lot i've read all of the posts and people are saying this they the go States. yeah they go to their doctors even here though like any doctor they they don't prescribe that no i mean no 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 Doctors don't tend to listen. listen to you when you tell them you you had a side effect from an antibiotic and they will say, oh, it's going to go away or they're going to say it's in your brain, it's just in your head uh, and gaslight you into thinking mm. you're going crazy because you can feel all the pain, but they can't see it anywhere. They can't see it in the test because there's nothing wrong inside but of you. But when it comes to ear infection, they can see that. Yeah, but I mean, the side effects of the, of the antibiotics, they can see it anywhere on you you know with tendons if you have a good doctor that will tell you to go to the x-ray and get an ultrasound too then they can see it like with me they saw the tears in the tendons then yeah they can see it luckily they yeah. saw something yeah that's just the psa of the day yes i don't want you guys to suffer <laughs> <coughs> maria changed her doctor i did and i will change we will change mine to i tendons. changed my doctor to a female doctor younger two, two. Uh, there are two in one clinic change mine now love love yeah oh it's it's a pity we're changing now because it costs 200 crowns mm. i'm wearing my hat from audrey she shipped us a, thank a, you audrey a box so i have a Souvenir. koala australia i got one too yeah uh it says wait i will get it I like the the caramel. It's white, guys, but it tastes it tastes like it's brown. That makes sense with caramel brown. <laughs> I love Australia. I love Australia. We haven't been there. Tell Audrey to 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 watch this vlog and uh, this mukbang from and from start to finish. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang. Happy Halloween, guys! Oh, guys, I learned how to make granola. And then, oh no! Cream <laughs> cheese! Soon I will learn how to make uh, tofu and soy milk. And then, then we will, know how to make then it. Then we will make a mukbang. With that, yeah. But we Thanks made for what? Wait, 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 I will show my cream cheese. <laughs> Mama! That's not cream cheese. Tell them how yummy it is. It's alright. What? Almond. Love, love. <laughs> it tastes like no, it's real super cream yummy. cheese. It's super yummy. It doesn't look yummy. Oh, I put nutritional yeast and spices and garlic. It's really yummy. It tastes like cream cheese. And like cream cheese that's vegan in the store it tastes I so mean, fake. Yeah. The ones we've tried at least, it tastes like paper um, or like chemical. And it's no bueno. But this one is yummy. This one is the yummiest I've eaten outside. It is very yummy. Only I can Mar that. Maria put, okay, I, Maria put, made me Thank sit. Thank you, guys. Made me sit on three pillows. <laughs> so I because would look shorter than her. No, no. I am shorter. No, 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 no. So I would look taller than her. So she would look cuter <laughs> no. and younger. And no, it's so that we're on the same height because look at the cutoff. Usually I'm I'm like up there and you can see only half of my face. Sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and happy Halloween. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you, Audrey. And then I hope you guys have a safe and happy Halloween. Eat lots of candy, but not too much that you get diabetes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Not everyone will get diabetes. You have to be prone to it. You have to be genetically prone. That sounded funny. Eh? Gracias por ver. Subscribe if you want. Like if you want. Bye. Bye. I just wanna be with you right now. No, you keep your soul.